I've uh, lived in the area pretty well all my life, mm -hmm. uh, although I did spend uh, some time in the North Island when I was younger. And I've been on the farm here for the last oh, 40 odd years. Uh, and um, so I've come from a farming background. I live uh, near the edge of Lake Ellesmere and uh, been involved in various community activities for quite a long time. You know, you go through the, the usual things, school committees, sports clubs, and then I was involved in Federated Farmers for some time, and I was a provincial president of North Canterbury Federated Farmers before I took on the job as a councillor, became a councillor. In 1995, I became a, came on the council, uh, nine years ago. Nine years ago. So mm. you have been the mayor of Selwyn for, for nine years? For nine years. It, it speeded up. The change has speeded up, but we've always had in Lincoln, for instance, a, a very diverse population there relating to the university and to the, the scientific uh, organisations there, the crop and food and research organisations. So we've always had strong bio, or strong diversity in, in Lincoln, but you're seeing it more widespread now, it's spreading out, and uh, we have, um, just as many other areas have, we have uh, uh, people working in agriculture, a lot of Filipinos in agriculture, but they're not the only ones, there's people from South America as well, so there's a range of people involved there, so they're filling a gap in the skill base that we have here, and so that, that's been a real plus to our economy. Uh, you've also seen, of course, the, re, re, the construct, reconstruction of Christchurch, so we're getting a lot of uh, migrants coming in, some of which will be living in Selwyn and working in Christchurch. Okay. The, uh, well, we give every new, new people coming to Selwyn a, 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 a pack, an introduction pack, which tells them where all the services are, who to go to for various help in various ways. But in terms of your comment there, I know one of the things we did notice was that while uh, one of the husband or the wife might be working on the farm, the partner is, can be isolated in, in, the, in that rural area because long distances to go to anywhere, not so many social contacts around. And we, um, we had a program, I'm not sure if it's still going, but we had a program uh, to try and encourage them to get driver's license things if they didn't have a driver's license, for instance, so they could have that mobility to get out. Okay comes back to much the comments that you're just suggesting and that we know um, even, even migrants within New Zealand uh, we, so we call it the newcomers and migrants because they both face similar problems when they come down from Auckland or somewhere else uh, and and established in Rolleston or any of our other townships they've left their networks behind their family their their work colleagues, social contacts, sports clubs, whatever they were involved in. So they also are looking to re-establish themselves down here. So it's similar to the migrants, perhaps not quite so intensive, but it's similar to the migrants as well. So we have our newcomers and migrants uh, strategy that's uh, evolved over the last few years and is largely driven by the rapid growth we've seen in Selwyn in the last five or six years. Mm -hmm. Not particularly because I can think, you know, our own New Zealand students face the same issue of finding jobs in the holidays. So they're competing, the overseas students are competing with them as well. But um, from my observation that they, yeah, and I, I'm not sure how well I've observed, yeah, but, but I, I would see that, the, well, I'd like to think that the, the, the job opportunities are open to them equally. That event has been run by, I think, as the Lincoln Rotary Club for many, many years in Lincoln. And this is, as I mentioned before, that Lincoln was sort of the hub and the start of our, our, our multicultural uh, issues at all in, in Selwyn. So this year, to mark the Rolleston 150th, they're bringing it to Rolleston. Because while, while Lincoln may be the focus for the multicultural events and things, You've got to remember there's a lot of these new migrants are in Rolleston and other areas and so on as well. So bringing it to Rolleston allows them to actually have more active participation in it as well. Okay. It has, has increased, but do you remember the, um, if I think the figures are that uh, the, the Europeans still dominate no. and, and then it's the Maori and then Pacifica and then I think it's the Asian group and then there's a whole lot of smaller ones. But you're starting to get down to 1% and 2% when you when you're talking about those issues. So, and that's a lot more. You know, Percentages can be interesting, isn't it? We're 100% more than we were, yeah, but exactly. we've only gone half a percent to 1%. Well, they, they certainly have been, and, and that was because there was a, a difficulty getting people to work on the dairy farms, if you like, and, and I don't consider those low-skilled jobs. They're, they're, there's a level of skill there that's required to manage stock and manage farms, etc. And, and if you're a herd manager or a worker on those, you need to know what you're doing. But I just say that, you know, that's not the only place where we have uh, migrants. If you go to Westland Milk, you'll find there are people there from Singapore, for instance, who are actually creating that link into Asia for, for the Westland Milk. 
If I go to Oakley's Vegetables, there are people there again from, from Asian countries who, who are working on there in the business and, and particularly in relation to that uh, into relationship with the exports in overseas countries. Okay. So um, but there's, there's a limit to how many jobs, isn't there? So yeah. once those, those quotas are filled, and I mean, this is migrants, uh, depending on the skills that you require, I mean, the government has a, has a list of skills for essential, uh, essential skills, yeah. and that, that's telling us that we don't have enough of those people um, being educated or getting the experience in New Zealand. So in all of those areas, yes, the migrants are very, very valuable to the New Zealand economy. And in